Hey everyone! In this week's video we are going to learn Baby Shark on the alto saxophone. <laughs> So, before we begin, we need to review a couple things. First, we just need to talk about how we're going to be learning today, and that is without music. Now, yes, I have music written up on the board here, but once you learn four notes and you have the rhythm in your head and you know the song, you can play it. Trust me. Trust me, you do not need music to play this song, Baby Shark. First thing we gotta do is we gotta review our notes and our fingerings. Then we'll talk about how to play it with the right rhythm. We'll go through how to practice this together and at the end, we'll loop it a few times together uh, so we can play the song and it'll sound really fun. So without further ado, let's just take a look and I'm gonna name all of the notes first and you're gonna hear how some of them repeat. D E G G G G G G G D E G G G G G G G D E G G G G G G G G G F sharp. So D E F sharp and G are the four notes that make up baby shark. Let's review those now. As you can see, this D is lower than where you're used to it. You're used to it up here, but remember, we have multiple versions. This note, D, does not use our thumb. So no thumb, all right? Just have your thumb resting on the black cap right there. The fingering for D is one, two, three in my left hand and one, two, three in my right hand. Let's play this together. Low D. Think slow air. Ready? Go. <laughs> to play E, we remove my ring finger so it's one, two, three, one, two. Play E also with slow air. <laughs> F sharp is one, two, three, and my middle finger here. Let's all play F sharp and hold. Ready? Go. <laughs> Let's play G where we just have one, two, three. Now, the cool thing about this one, everyone, I'm going to tell you the trick right now. Once you put down your left hand three fingers, you're going to keep them there the entire song. Because D has those three pressed, E has those three pressed, F sharp has those three pressed, and G is just those three pressed. So, you do not need to move your left hand at all once you're on those three buttons. Um, so now let's just go ahead and talk about how this whole piece kind of goes and what the um, road map is. First I'm going to sing it to you and you're going to hear that we have the same line three times and then we end it a little different. That's why I have this music up here with a times three symbol so we'll do that three times and then down here it looks a little different. So it's like this. Baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark. So we play these first two notes, D and E, and then once we start the shark do 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 do, we repeat what is inside of these two repeat symbols. So this is an end repeat because it points back to the left. And this is a beginning repeat because it points to the right. So these dots are pointing in at each other. So this is what you will repeat a total of three times. D E G G G G G G G D E G G G G G G G D E G G G G G G G. And then we got G G F sharp right down here. And that's how we end. So we do this three times and then this once. So first, let's just practice this D. E, G, those three notes are what we'll practice first. And then once we're there, we'll be prepared to go on. So let me move my computer a little bit so you guys can see. See my left hand, that's about right. Here we go, ready? So just to review, we got D. E, and G. 
Let's try it. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, last time, go. Great. So now once we're prepared to do that, we can go on and learn the cool rhythm, the do 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 do. So first, let me just play it for you, starting right on this G. So this is baby shark do 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 do. Remember, when you're tonguing notes, your tongue should be up against the tip of the reed and pull away each time. So in slow-mo, if my finger was my tongue, this is what's happening inside of the mouthpiece. So ta 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 So when your tongue comes away from the mouthpiece, it lets air in. If your corners are really firm, this will sound really clean. Do you see how my lips are not moving at all? They're just very firm right here. If I was going like this, see how my chin's moving and the note doesn't sound right? Keep your chin really still. And all you have to use is your air and your tongue. Let's loop this rhythm, just the G. Um, let's do it like three times. One, two, ready, go. Again, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. Very good. So now we learned the first three notes, D, E, G, and now we learned the G with the do to do's, and now we just have to put those together. So it sounds like this. <laughs> To your turn, go. One, two, two more times, go. One last time, go. Great. So now that we learned that chunk, if we put them together, three times in a row, we are 90% done this whole song. It's really cool, it's just that easy. D, E, G, 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 D, E, G, 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 D, E, G, 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 G. And that's what we'll do now. Listen first, and then we'll play that part, or that much together, two times through. Here's me, ready? Together. One, two, ready, go. And let's try that much again. Pause the video if you need to and try that as many times as you feel like you need to until it sounds really nice. Let's try it again together. One, two, ready, go. Alright, so now let's add on what I just played for you. This G, G, F. So we have one and two. Rest, rest. All right. So we have G, G with one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we just add my middle finger for the F sharp. So watch. 
Try that much. One, two, go. Again, go. Last time. Great. So, once you get to the baby shark, when you go back to the beginning, that's when the lyrics change. Now, the lyrics might change, but what doesn't change are the notes. This can be baby shark, mommy shark, daddy shark, grandma shark, doesn't matter. It will be D E G G G G G G G D E G G G G G G G D E G G G G G G G G G F sharp. So let's go ahead and put that G G F sharp onto the end of baby shark, what we just played just a few minutes ago. Here we go, guys. One, two, uh, one, two, ready, go. So that was one time through. Now, uh, at this point in the video, we are done learning the song. You guys can go back in the video if you need to and review some of the things. But what I want you to do is I want you to just keep playing this over and over again until it sounds better and better and better and more and more like the song on YouTube. When you really feel ready to go, feel free to send me a video or just play along with your uh, family or your friends or anyone on Zoom. They can do the moves and you can play the notes. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and you got to uh, finally learn Baby Shark on your instrument. Have a great week, guys.